Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we got a uh, pretty cool video. I actually have the uh, 2020, uh, this is the 2023 model um, Cadillac Lyric. This is the all-wheel drive, but more importantly than anything else, we're actually going to test out the Super Cruise feature here on this Cadillac Lyric. Um, I did some testing with it last night on the way home, and um, it is pretty cool. And um, as you know, I have a uh, Ford Mustang Mach-E with the Blue Cruise, and... Um, I think the Super Cruise is uh, quite a bit better uh, than Ford's Blue Cruise. So um, let's let's do a quick video and uh, show you how it works and uh, what it looks like. Let's get this video started on this nice foggy morning <laughs> and uh, let's try out Super Cruise. All right, so we're not on a Super Cruise eligible road just yet. We're actually traveling down the back roads heading towards the highway where I can actually do Super Cruise. So in the meantime, real quick, I wanna just kind of walk around the inside of this Lyric because um, this has got to be one of the most luxurious vehicles um, that I've ever been been in. I mean, ever driven. Um, so, you know, right here, the big noticeable thing is this fully curved uh, screen here that has all of your infotainment system in the, in the middle screen here. And you can control that by basically doing touch screen or you can actually control it by this uh, dial down here and these buttons. So I can press some of these tap tip buttons and go to the home screen. Again, I can swipe over and uh, use my uh, finger as a touch screen, or you can use this turn, uh, turn dial and you can actually go through it like that. Um, so pretty cool. I mean, there's a ton of things you can go through, maps, uh, Apple CarPlay like you saw. Um, this even has the auto park assist when you get somewhere where you wanna park. It's got um, different things like Wi-Fi hotspot. I mean, you can read it on there, guys. Um, so a lot of cool things on the screen there um, that you can use. Now below that, you have two nicely placed air vents here that do blow air right towards the, the two front passengers, which is pretty cool. And then down below that, you do have climate control down there, dual zone climate control here for the front two passengers. And then down below here, you have a huge cubby space down here um, that you can just put you know, your purse or whatever um, for you ladies out there or you guys, uh, you can put down uh, different items down there as well. Just a little storage nook down there. And then coming in up a little bit further on top of that, you do have a little area right here where you can place like your phone into or whatever, and then close that back up and it, and it seals it up there. Down below that, of course, you have your cup holders. You have that uh, system right here for the touch screen, which is pretty cool. Now, in front of you, again, a huge screen here that you can customize. Um, and then on the left-hand side over here, this is actually a touch screen. So you can go through different things, um, like change the, the instrument cluster to show your energy level. You can go on and then change it to your Google Maps um, once you have that set up. You can even do just a, a clean area where it just shows your miles per hour and then how much kilowatts of energy you're using or you're collecting from regenerative braking. So pretty cool. I usually keep it on the gauge one here um, just because it shows me my percent of battery and the range on the right hand side. And then on the left hand side, it shows me how much energy I'm using um, or I'm regenerating from regenerative uh, braking there. And it shows your time, clock, date, all that kind of stuff. Um, temperature outside on the left hand side of that. Um, shifter is actually back here. You can you got to pull it towards you and then down for drive or pull towards you and up for reverse and then park right in the middle there to press the button. And then the, the steering wheel is a really nice design here. You got your uh, blues cru or your Super Cruise, not Blue Cruise, uh, Super Cruise section up here on the top, which I'll show you in a little while here where it lights up green um, when you're on Super Cruise. And then you have all your controls down here like cruise control, heated steering wheel, um, your controls here for the center cluster and your phone hang up, all that kind of options there. So overall, on these back roads, um, you know, it's really comfortable. You can set um, your adaptive cruise control if you want. So I'll set that right here. And I can set the adaptive cruise control and it will then drive itself um, basically without actually, you know, you have to keep your hand on the steering wheel and steer, but it will slow itself down or speed itself back up to the set speed uh, when there's cars in front of you or not. So pretty cool. Um, the other thing that I really uh, like is these headrests and I'll get a picture of this for you. Uh, but these headrests actually have speakers in them. So when I have my music on, it actually plays a little bit of volume in those headrests. Um, so it makes it really cool to hear. Um, so let's keep on driving. We're gonna get up to the highway here in a second and we're gonna turn on Blue Cruise. I'll be right back. All right, so 
We are now on the highway where we can turn on Super Cruise, and I did just, just call it a second ago Blue Cruise, and I apologize. Uh, I'm so used to talking about the Blue Cruise in my car. So, Super Cruise here in the Cadillac Lyric. Now, so we're on the highway. There's a little bit of traffic today, not too terrible though, which is perfect. Uh, but this is a really good time to do this because, you know, even if there's heavy traffic, Super Cruise will take some of that fatigue of, you know, stopping, slowing down, speeding up um, in traffic. So it's pretty cool. So let's turn it on. To start with, what you're going to do is you got to turn on adaptive cruise control. So there's a button right here on the steering wheel. You turn on adaptive cruise control on your screen in the middle there it's going to then show you your adaptive cruise control on uh, and it's going to have a little steering wheel to the right hand side that's white right now uh, and that basically just means that this road does have super cruise compatibility so adaptive cruise control is on it's telling me that this road does have super cruise the only thing you have to do is literally press the little super cruise button right here on the steering wheel that looks just like the the steering wheel um, logo in the middle of the dash here you press that and then it lights the steering wheel up green which means you have super cruise on you can take your hands off the steering wheel and then it will drive itself um, now on the highway now the speed that you set it at is the speed that it will max out at so right now i'm at 62 miles per hour it will max out at 62. it will slow down um, as you get closer to a car so let's say the car in front of you is going 55 it will then slow down to that car in front of you at 55 and then if it sees a lane to your left or right to get out of um, it then will um, allow you to um, then change lanes by itself now it just turned itself off because it's telling me that this road is not actually a supported road um, and I did this last night in the same area, so I was kind of actually doing a, a test to see if it would take it on the uh, southbound side there, on the northbound side, it did turn it off last night in the same area. So it's saying that this road right here is not supported. Now the rest of my ride basically to work is supported. So interesting that this area right here is not. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but when that when it turns off, it then starts lighting up red like you probably saw, and then it actually starts slowing the vehicle down. Sometimes that can honestly be a little dangerous, um, in my opinion. Now, the steering wheel is now logo, the, lit, the logo is now lit up that it says that Super Cruise is eligible, so I'll turn Super Cruise back on, and then the rest of the way um, to uh, Salisbury should allow me to uh, have Super Cruise. So it's driving itself right now. Again, you'll see the green logo um, on the steering wheel. So again, very nice, very comfortable. One thing I do like about the Super Cruise that I like better than the Blue Cruise from Ford is in my Mach-E, the Blue Cruise seems to want to try to pull you sometimes to these um, off ramps or the you know the turn lanes here, which I'm not a huge fan of. Now, a car just came in front of me and you see that the car was still going faster than I am, so it never did slow me down, so I'm good to go there. Um, so overall, it's still driving itself there. Um, and it's doing a good job. I don't have my hands on the steering wheel and you know, you can sit back and relax now again Pay attention. You got to keep your eyes on the road because there is an infrared camera right here in front of me Right in front of the dash here that is looking for my eyes to make sure I'm still facing forward and I can still see the car now again you see the cars that are coming in front of me, they're going faster, so it's not slowing me down. It's not taking me off Blue Cruise. Everything is good to go. Um, so we'll see. I mean, we're going to keep driving here, and uh, I will let you know in a few minutes once uh, we get up to a car that's going a little slower than I am, and uh, and then we make a lane change. I want to show you how that works. So sit tight. We're going to turn this on a time lapse real quick until we get up to a car where we, uh, we have the ability to let it change its own lane there. All right, so we're coming up to an area where it's a little bit faster here on the highway, so I'll set my speed up a little bit here. Now, I did do a, chain, a lane change there right after I turned my GoPro off, go figure, um, but a truck was actually coming out um, of a uh, road on the side there and got into the turn lane, and it actually knew that that truck was gonna get over, so it uh, 
alerted me on my seat bottom and then made a lane change. Now, we're coming up here. The vehicle knows that there's cars ahead of us. It's slowing down a little bit, but now it knows that there's cars on the side of us, so it has not made a lane change. Now, it will here in a second. Uh, now that it knows that there, there's, there's clear lanes on the side, um, it will probably change to the slow lane because we're going about 10 miles per hour slower um, So we'll see you know this car in front of me is going a little bit slower I guess we'll sit here and uh, wait for it to make a lane change um, I think it wants to stay in the fast lane here. I'm not a hundred percent sure here, so we will see Let's uh, see how far it goes now while we're waiting for this to do the lane change There's some cars on the side of me, so I'm sure that's what's that's what it's hesitant on uh, it doesn't want to go past the cars that are, or pull out in front of the cars that are on the left-hand side of me. Now, see, it just vibrated the seat, and it's now turning to get over because the cars in that lane are going faster. So it is now getting over. It just did a lane change without me having to do anything. Uh, I knew the lane was clear on this um, right-hand side. Now I'm going to go up just a hair a bit more. Uh, I tell you what, traffic is moving fast this morning. Um, down the highway here. So I'm going to go up just a hair bit here to keep up with the flow of traffic. Now, talking about flow of traffic and, and energy here, currently I have been driving 28.4 miles here to work. My efficiency is 2.9 miles per kilowatt. Um, it's a pretty neutral day today, 73 degrees. This is like the optimal weather um, for this uh, EV vehicle. So I would think it would get a little bit more than the 2.9 that it's showing, um, but we'll see. This is a, a demo vehicle here for our dealership. So um, there's gonna be customers that are driving this vehicle um, pretty much every day. So I'd be interested to see how high that efficiency level goes or how low the efficiency level goes because 2.9 right this second um, doesn't seem pretty high. My mach -E gets right about three, three and a half um, during these, uh, during this climate, you know, 70, 75 degree weather. Um, it's not sunny outside, so I don't have the AC pump in this. The AC is actually on 70. It's, uh, it's kind of just doing its own little thing here. Um, so I'm, I'm interested to see um, what, what it, uh, you know, the efficiency level gets up to. 2.9, in my opinion, is not that great. And, um, so we'll see. So we're coming up on the exit to my work here. Now, with Super Cruise, it's not fully autonomous. It's not going to get me off my lane here to get off. So you got to be conscious, keep an eye on the road. If you got to get off an exit, you got to take back control and you got to cancel Blue Cru or Super Cruise. Um, I did it again. You got to cancel Super Cruise to get off your exit here. So it's still keeping speed. Vehicles are slowing down. I'm going to turn off Super Cruise because it actually probably will want to, to uh, do a lane change because it doesn't uh, think about me getting off this exit here. So I'll get off this exit and uh, and then we're going to get to work and then I'll finish this video up. Thanks. Go. Thank you so much for uh, for watching this video so far. All righty, so that's been the uh, drive on the Super Cruise um, that you can get here um, on the Cadillac Lyric. So the question is, um, is it worth the extra money? Because up front, it's about a $2,500 upcharge on uh, most of the General, Model, uh, General Motors vehicles that have it. Um, and, and talking about that, let's talk about which ones you can get it on. So, you know, a lot of the uh, Cadillac uh, models you can get it on, uh, like the Escalade, the Lyric, the XT6. Um, Chevy also has it on their side with the Silverado, the Tahoe, um, the Bolt, and then uh, G uh, GMC has it on their side with the Yukon, the Sierra, um, and that kind of stuff. So, you know, GM is rolling this uh, Super Cruise uh, out on different models. And so, you know, is it worth the money? Again, it's 20, about 2,500 um, bucks upfront um, on the vehicle. And honestly, for me, I think it's really worth it. Um, it sounds crazy, but to have that little bit of um, ease of driving while you're on trips is really, really nice. For me, I would use it mostly from my house to work, which is about 45 minutes um, one way. Um, and then, you know, on the on road trips, I, I travel from Maryland to Tennessee, a decent chunk. We go on uh, trips to West Virginia. Um, and a lot of the roads to those states 
are supported by Super Cruise. So I think I would spend the extra money to get that on my, my vehicle um, and to add it there. And, and again, compared to Blue Cruise from Ford, I think Super Cruise does a fantastic job and does a better job than Blue Cruise because of the ability that it has to change lanes. And I know Ford's gonna come out with that um, if they're not rolling it out now um, on some of their models. But I just think that Super Cruise is a very, very good, um, it's very, the technology is very good on the vehicles um, that they have them on. So overall, again, I would give it a yes on the buy for me. Um, but let me know down in the comment section below, would you buy Super Cruise? What's your thoughts? If you have any questions, put them down in the comment section. Um, thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Before you go, don't forget, like the, the video and uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you all so much. We'll see you next time.